old school estate. Look at that. Este río desemboca en Lisboa, en la ciudad en la que habéis ido en Portugal. Este río va hasta Lisboa. A friend of us found the place. They were driving down this dirt road. Well, they were looking for a place, like to to build their house uh, for the weekends. He knew that he didn't want a longer distance than one hour from Madrid. But he also wanted water, so he said, okay, let's get Google Maps, one hour from Madrid, and cling, and he started looking for places, and we found this one. So then you decided to buy land here, too? Yep. Parking con vistas tienes aquí, We wanted the cars to be a little bit of distance from the house because we wanted this path just to be aware of the surroundings. I like that your path is not perfectly straight. You're just yeah. you know, leaving some trees on the side. And yeah, also the, the, the same thing that we wanted to maintain the trees. So we were very respectful and we didn't mind that the path got, has all these curves. This is the entrance. It was very important to get this patio. And it was very nice that we had these oaks, these trees here that we wanted to keep. So all the architecture surrounds these trees. It does feel like a small village. Yeah. <laughs> that was part of the idea? Yeah, because we thought that it's so interesting to have this architecture from the villages around. And we thought maybe if we have little spaces, these little stone boxes, which alternate with glass volumes. So you can have like this coziness in, in these uh, stone boxes. and. And in the glass places, you, you get the entire views of the river. So you leave it open yeah. most of the time? Yeah, because uh, the temperature is so good that right now we are in um, February and, and look, and it feels fine. So, <laughs> And this is our dining room. <laughs> yeah. And... Uh, I, I know it's not very correct because... Um, our entrance is over there, and just when you arrive to the house, you just see the dining room. But for us, it was more important to get this view here. It feels like it's water straight out. Yeah, we wanted this axis with a swimming pool. We wanted to make this axis from the patio, the, the dining, and the swimming pool, and the river, all in the same axis. <laughs> Also, the color of the swimming pool, it's the same color as the river. It's a kind of material called eco finish. They had different kinds of colors and we were trying to guess because it's very, dif very difficult to, to do it without water. And also it depends on the depth. So it's nice because during the summer when you get direct sunlight, you get a different blue. Sometimes it turns a little bit green. And if you lie here, you get all the sky, the river, the tree. You get this mirror kind of reflection. So nice. Yeah. It's so cold. Yeah, it's really cold. <laughs> I can't believe that you are able to <laughs> be there. Did you hear that? She can't believe it. Yeah. So what's the relation interior exterior here? It's, it's not super rigid, right? Uh, no, um, we tried to tirar las barreras. To just break barriers? Yeah, break barriers in between interior and exterior. And this is our dining table. 
It also has an extension here, even though it's huge. <laughs> I think we've been 21 people eating here with all these views. It's very nice because during the sun, since uh, the sun is more vertical, yes. you only get the sunlight until here. So you have everything with, with shade. Uh, but during the winter, yes. you, you get the sunlight getting in the living room, which is really, really nice. So, and uh, for example, here in the living room, this space is very special for us. It's our shelter. It was for us very important just to feel the coziness of the stone and just not to make a glass uh, box. Mm -hmm. So we framed like this view and this corner is, is magic. Because I can get the views from the river, I have the swimming pool and also I get this diagonal and I can face also the river on that side. And uh, this big window, we made it with no frame. And, so. and that was an idea of Fernando, my husband. We wanted the light from the sunset. And during the sunset, you get this ray of light, like going through the whole living room. And it feels great. <laughs> Time passes differently here, that's true. It was very important that our daughters could feel nature. It feels really close. We wanted like this rough uh, aspect. We we have three girls. We didn't want something like very, very <laughs> difficult to keep. It's just directly on top. Dire directly, yeah. Because it's nice because it doesn't slide. <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> no way, yeah. For us, it was very important to be comfortable in our house. It's so interesting, the shape of this. It's what? almost like the house kind of snakes. Yeah. <laughs> no? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We thought um, that we wanted to just um, improvise and try to find all the, the nice things that the landscape was giving us. So suddenly, uh, when we were doing the work, we realized this view and we said, okay, uh, it has to be glass, the, the, the background, so we can get that part of the river. So you always have like different views from the river. We wanted to articulate around these two patios, like one to embrace when you, when you come, and the, and the other patio that has a U shape over there. This other patio, it, it comes to, to, to open just to the riverside. And also this space, at the beginning, it was going to be like a shelter kind of box, the same as the stone ones. But suddenly we realized the views of this place and it had to be glass. No way that, that this is closed. <laughs> We have to open it. We've done a lot of things. Mostly the sunset time is really nice here. You can get your gin tonic. <laughs> we also do yoga here. We have our table over there just to work. It was very important that the furniture, that we could remove it just to be able to do all these activities. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, for example, this furniture is a friend of ours. It's all handmade, and I love all the all the different the weathering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and um, I don't know if you realize we have here a bathtub <laughs> in the middle. Yeah, this was like a 
a kind of dream that we had. We love uh, bathtubs <laughs> and we said, wow, it would be really good to have to, to have a bath in, in the whole nature. No? Yeah. And nobody's around? You don't have any neighbors to come? Um, in, in this side, no. And on the other side of the river, but it's very a long distance. Wow. So. <laughs> This patio, it's really nice because during the summer we have these leaves, we, we have this shade thing. It's tela de camouflage, for camouflage. Camouflage fabric. Yep, and we thought it's really nice because it looks like if there's leaves that it just... Have fallen, yeah. Fall. It does look like that. Does, yeah. I and it works very, very nicely. <laughs> it's not bad until we have this vegetable ceiling. Most of the summer nights we have a projector and we project some films in this wall. Even though it has all this um, stone, yeah. it, it, you, can, you can see it very, very nicely really? here. It's not so bad, no? Wow. Yeah, and let me show you the kitchen. We used these tiles. Handmade, um, it's from Tanger. From Morocco, from Tangier? Tangier, yeah. It's handcrafted and we love it because every piece is different from, from the other. So the During the night, we ha it's also nice because you get all these like different it's textures, yes. uh, which we love. Yeah. Here, it's our oh, nevera, refrigerator. the refrigerator we have here. Oh <laughs> and yeah, with a freezer, everything is hidden. Mm -hmm. Our ceilings, we wanted like to be very harsh, very um, uh, bruto. Raw, raw. Raw. raw, raw. Yeah, raw materials. There's sometimes people who are saying, oh, but this is not finished, no? And <laughs> I'm telling them, no, no, we like it this way. <laughs> oh, but you're going to paint it wh white. Oh, no, 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 I'm going to leave it this way. <laughs> yeah. So it, it is very, uh, some aspects are very contemporary at the same time, the exteriors and the volumes. It blends with the area. So you probably studied the towns around here. Yeah. I love villages, I don't know why. I think it's very interesting architecture because you have like these little plazas, these patios, and there's also a lot of life outside the houses. This is our front door. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the first thing that our guests are saying is like, where is the door? Well. This is our door. It's a glass door. Yeah, that does close, right? Yeah. It closes here. So when you arrive, you have your key and you just open it. <laughs> and this exact uh, place, it's just uh, in between the day area and the night area. So wh why in this entry area you decided to use the same floor as outside? Yeah, um, it's, it's very, very dirty floor. So we thought that it would work very nicely here when you remove your shoes. And it's like the felpudo, no? You, you, you can get your, oh, your like mat. Like yeah, a like mat. a mat. Maybe like an entry mat. <laughs> yeah, you, you maybe have some stones here and it's not a problem if you go uh, like this. And also, again, we wanted um, no barriers here. Um, and play inside, outside. I can show you the rooms if you mm -hmm. want. In the corridor, we have just the enough light to play with the idea of some spaces with a lot of light, others with more shades. This is a glue part also, what we, we, what we talked. You have these stone boxes and suddenly you get this kind of corridor which is in between the boxes and you again get this glass just to, to see the views. This wall, you can feel all the texture going here. And for the countryside, we thought, why not? And now, yes, it's the girls' room. 
They were very sure they wanted bunk beds and we designed them with, with them. And the oldest, she wanted to be very high. She decided that she wanted this corner, then our middle daughter is this other height. And our baby of two years old, the dictator, she has the <laughs> this huge bed for her. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're almost like cages. Yeah, absolutely. And they behave like like monkeys because <laughs> they're all the time like ah, oh! and and they love to put some blankets on top oh, of their wow. little houses. Forts. Yeah. They they do forts and they love their bedroom. Yeah. This window wasn't in the original project, but when we were doing the house, we realized again we had the views of the river. And it works really, really good because when we are having a dinner, <laughs> we are aware of the kids' room. So when they're being naughty, we can come here and it's like the shortcut. Here we have a bathroom of the girls. We used the space underneath the stairway for the shower. There's a lot of people that don't know the technique. So for us, it's like to remember that still... The technique of making an arch? Yeah, the geometry of this is kind of complex. So I think it's nice to remember. Also, we have again the, the geometry. We have the concrete floor, but then we have this kind of arch, the same as the girls' bathroom. For example, here it feels a little bit uh, like a church, <laughs> with the Gothic arch. Again, this shades path instead of everything light, like more spiritual or I don't know. And this is our bedroom. Again, <laughs> the views from the river. Wow. Yep. And then you can also open here and have your bath. And, and here you're able to see the rooftops with the vegetation. At the beginning, we bought some lavandas, tomillo, and suddenly uh, <laughs> all kinds of grasses started um, <laughs> living there. And we thought, OK, um, next time we won't buy any lavanders or tomillo because um, this is what life, life breaks through. And it's really nice. And I love it. I prefer that, that all with lavandas. Mm -hmm. So. A spontaneous <laughs> vegetation so, and also from the bed we are very aware of that roof and we wanted that continuity between the mountain and the vegetation over there we love to feel the different estaciones right now during the winter the plants look like if they are dead, but they get all these kind of colors, the, the red, the brown, and we are happy to see them because when the spring comes, yeah. all everything changes. It's such a different house. Yeah. Mm. We don't mind to have uh, the bathtub in our bedroom, so you can have a bigger space. Mm -hmm. And this point of view, uh, it's one of the most interesting. So if you have like a wall over here and, and just this part of, of bathroom, you're missing a lot of things. So, so for us, it was clear <laughs> that we had to have our bathtub open. It's our toilet. <laughs> the only place we need privacy, it's in the toilet, the rest. We wanted to keep it simple. We used these tiles, yeah. the same as the kitchen tiles. Mm -hmm. we, we wanted to be able to fit both of us. Yeah. <laughs> so we decided to make it on our own instead of buying one already made. And for us, it was important like, to get uh, this kind of window frame 
that the bathtub had the correct size. And here we have another mm -hmm. I was wondering. Oh, <laughs> mysterious place, which is our shower. <laughs> We wanted it black, it has all these little stars. Here, when you are showering, you again get the, the views of the Tajo. Oh, yeah. yeah, and we wanted this kind of cave feeling in the shower and the spy <laughs> <laughs> through this little window. You get this very high ceiling and it's really, really nice to have a shower here. Yeah, yeah there's a, st a stair that we wanted to do a very light stair, mm -hmm. but we had to put these kind of wires. So this didn't move too much, but we, we like them. <laughs> you go all around these trees. Yeah. Oi. We didn't have more money to make <laughs> more the other roofs with vegetation, but I think this year we'll be able to put some soil since we already understood that it's gonna have plants. And this is one of the rooftops that we have to finish. Yeah. This is the polyurea, that's material for the impermeabilization. Okay. And you can see here how it works. It's like a big bathtub here and ready to put some stones and soil just to let it grow. Yeah, and look, these cylinders. <laughs> are the ones we use so because if you put so the soil everything goes down so we d we managed to to do these cylinders right because green roof groups don't normally slope usually green roofs are flat yeah that's true so we did uh, all these cylinders for the next step and to so put the uh, everything yeah you're really to keep it, it in <laughs> to keep it in in the way it should be So something I've noticed is how calm I and mean, there is no cars in the background, there is no vzzz from cities or yeah. uh, factories or... It has a calm atmosphere. There's almost an absolute quiet. Yeah. If I pull the chair, I'll be fine because it bounces me. We have five hens, which put five eggs each day, and the girls love it just to get the eggs. Oh yeah, I see the bathtub. It's not very nice at this moment. Normally we have a lot of vegetation, but winter is winter. <laughs> Or do you, have, do you have to carry water out here? No, no, no. We, we have water here. Wow. And a uh, hot water. Do the girls like it? Yeah, on, on the summer they, they have their bath here. So yeah. And this is, it was a storage room and we, <laughs> we said, no way. It's another bedroom. So the sink is just the protagonist here. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> It's so open, there's no glass, there's no... I know. So you just have a slope floor? Yep, so with slope here, and since it's quite big, it, it works good because you get all the water over this side. And, and then we wanted this sink. Basically, we are trying new things in this house. From here, when you were just designing the volumes, you, you were thinking about not to put them too straight? Or yeah. how was... Yep, yeah. to, to get the right views, 
we realized that we had to get different angles. So that's why it looks more spontaneous. Also, we had the trees. With the views and with the trees, we had to do something different than a rectangle. That's why it's so organic. These pine trees were the only trees we, which were very big and we maintained everything. That was kind of tree, even though this one is smaller, we also maintained it. Wow. <laughs> everything. I always love villages. The old people in all the villages, they just take their chair, they put the outside and they spend the whole afternoon. And our patios, we thought of that when I was imagining myself like being an old lady with my chair looking at the river. And I thought, oh, this is, this is really nice. 